Now, I'm going to tell you right now. It took me five years to watch the first movie. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it took me almost five years. I would yeah, have to say... 2019? He... I just Damn. recently saw it maybe a couple months ago. Again? For the first time. Oh, shit. Damn. Because it came out in 2019, and then I think it was before we launched the pod, you said something about it. Uh, 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 another person t- uh, we was all remember I know you remember this conversation we had it we had it and then you wasn't on board with it because you were the fan and then the other person was like I love that movie because the, <laughs> the, 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 the psychological part of the movie he really loved but I was just sitting there like I don't know what y'all talking about <laughs> like to be honest with you I, I again we you touched on maybe two pods ago I can't remember. It's been a while since I actually went on, been did a pod. Apologies again, but you was like, there are some villains that cannot be made in solo movies without the hero, which that was referencing to obviously Venom, Tom Hardy with Spider Man, and then the other reference was Joker with Batman because they go hand in hand. They're they're basically opposite complete opposites yeah but i stand by that i still stand by that today like i mean there's certain characters i feel like you just they just can't be created without the other and i mean that so heartily because you need to have one you need to have one without the other like uh frank sinatra says (laughs) love and marriage but um like i feel that spider-man and batman are similar characters not the fact that they're both vigilantes and superheroes but because yeah, there's the difference that one's rich and one's one's poor. But I mean, the, the the similarity they hold together is that they both don't believe in killing and they both create their own heroes because they choose to be, choose a, a different path than than what they were given in life. They both had tragedies in life, you know, as we know, Bruce Wayne lost his parents and and Peter Parker lost uh his uncle Ben, which caused them to to see life differently. I just don't, like I said, to go back to what I stated like a, a couple pods ago, is that I just, the Joker movie, it was okay. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. But I don't, right. I just don't see myself rewatching the movie multiple times. Like I, 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 I find it difficult to sit there and be like, this movie, this movie, I want to rewatch it again and again and again and again. Like I, I haven't rewatched, I've only probably watched it twice in my life. And I might be even lying on that, but I remember watching the movie. I waited a month for it to come out. I was against this movie, and my boy, one of my best friends back, told me, hey, this movie is the, is the shit, bro. I'm telling you, it's amazing. So he convinces me, I go, and I'm sitting there like, bro, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry. Like, I, I like Rakeem Phoenix, bro. Like, I like, I like his acting. I like, some, I like a lot of his movies, bro. But just him just playing the Joker isn't, isn't for me, bro. Just... I felt I felt more sorry for the Joker than I ever did in any of the movies that I've ever watched. And to be honest with you, it was more pathetic. And it, and that's what the, the point of this movie was, was to sympathize for this dude. But to be honest, I felt more sympathy for freaking... <laughs> I felt more sympathy for the Joker in freaking Christian Nolan's Batman. <laughs> You I feel more pathetic. It was pathetic, bro. Like his laughter wasn't wasn't the Joker's laughter, and you, you fans can say whatever they want, bro. You're not gonna convince me. That's and then his punchline sucked. It wasn't right. even funny. It wasn't even like cynical. It was just like pathetic. Like I'm supposed to feel sorry for you because nobody cares about you. Like okay, cool. That's what it feels like to be a dude all the time. I mean, it, I, like I get like it's not funny. I mean, like the whole scene of him killing, uh, what's his name, Robert De Niro in that thing. Like I saw that coming, but it wasn't funny when he shot him. It wasn't funny. Like, er- like people were laughing in the movie theater. I'm like, bro, you're all psychopaths. Then I mean, like, it's not even that funny, right? Like the thing I liked about the Joker is that he had this crappy sense of humor that it was only funny to the people who were really, really sick. 
And Batman True. understood it. And Batman understood it. And yeah, he didn't laugh most of the time, but like he deep down inside, Batman is the same person as the Joker. It's just two sides of the same coin, bro. We could go about this all day long. But it was Batman who created the Joker. It was Spider-Man who created the Green Goblin and all his rosters of villains, bro. Like it it is what it is. Like I just don't see the Joker making Batman. I just don't see that. And you and I get that there were universes where Joker killed Batman's parents, but still yet again, I mean, that's not the main that's not a canon storyline. True. It was always so, Joel Chill who killed his parents. So <clears throat> how do you like the addition of Harley Quinn in the in the in the next Joker movie? You think that would interest you in watching it? I think so. Um I heard rumors that they were going to have Lady Gaga play Harley Quinn. And to be honest with you, I didn't think they were going to make a sequel because the director and uh, Raheem were very adamant about not making it a sequel. But the studio, you know, forced his way in there and was like, now nah, we're making money off this movie. Right. But to answer your question, yeah, I think Lady Gaga would be phenomenal as Harley Quinn. I, you know, at first when I heard Lady Gaga was going to get in the acting, I didn't think it was going to be that great. I was like, oh, it's just another famous person trying to get in the acting. You know, oh, well, I don't really care. But I'm a big fan of American Horror Story. And I go hold you when she was in, uh, she played one of the seasons as a vampire in, a, in, the, in this hotel. Um, I believe it was called the hotel. I believe that was season five. Um, you can correct me on that. Uh, it's been a while since I watched American Hotel uh, Horror Story. Sorry, um, but she was phenomenal as that character. So I, she's a great actress, and I could see her doing amazing as Harley Quinn. Hmm. I didn't even know that was Lady Gaga in the trailer the whole time. Oh, bro! <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. It's Lady Gaga, bro. Uh, but my. But grounding my gear about this is what I hear rumors. The speculation is that it's going to be somewhat of a, uh, what do they call it? A sing along or whatever they call that. Uh, a musical. A musical. A play. <laughs> a play. I'm not big on on stuff like this. Oh no, not me neither. I, I, that's so, like a Disney. I like Disney movies, like early, early ninety Disney movie ish movies. The only like, thing I know. That I would say it would play well with the whole concept of not knowing what is real and what's not. Like, what's the reality that the Joker lives in? Because as we, if, for those who've seen the first one, it, it's only left to the to the viewer's interpretation and how they take the Joker. Because there were some scenes in the movie that really didn't happen, and some scenes that were, but it wasn't specified, nor was it really given by the director, which you really thought was real. Like, to be honest with you, when you had the chick who played Domino in uh, Deadpool uh, 2, which I can't remember her name right now, the actress, that was his mm -hmm. love interest in the first one, I really thought they were hitting it off until it came to find out he never talked to her. That joke kind of blew my mind. I was like, yo, wait, hold up. That wasn't real? They didn't talk? Nah. It was all in his head. She was the neighbor oh. that lived across the street that was a single mom, and he... He had a crush on her and he had this, he had played this, this story in his head that they, they were a thing. Because remember they had a date, they kissed and they banged and then he left her and told her that he was going to do something really tragic. And then come to find out she didn't even know who he was. Okay. That kind of so. that kind of blew me, and then the whole scene not knowing if Joker actually killed people at the end, because it was left interpretation that he was in a mental asylum the entire time. So we're getting we're getting confirmation that he serious? actually did that murder. Yeah, you're right. That movie was pathetic. It was pathetic, bro. Like I I can't get that image out of my mind. And then the mom was crazy sitting. too. Yeah, she killed herself, or he killed her. He killed her. Okay. Yeah, and she told him that uh, Thomas Wayne was his was her uh, was his biological father. Oh which, yeah, nah, she, yeah, that that's that, it for me. That was it, it for me. I did was he like, had that? No. Did he have that scene in the bathroom where he was confronting Thomas Wayne, talking about that he was his father to admit it, and he was like, "Bro, like your your mom was crazy." 
<laughs> she wasn't my maid, but she was crazy. We had to fire her and get rid of her, bro. Like, whatever she's telling you, she's delusional. So that just made me feel more, like, it left a bad taste in my mouth, bro. I'm just like, bro, like, how more, how more, how much more pathetic does he got to get to become the Joker? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not with that at all. Sorry, I, I, I'm gonna give it a shot for 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 business purposes but <laughs> i don't i did not i now that you're explaining this to me now it's starting to come back to me how the concept of this movie went and all he wanted to do was be on that late night tv show with robert de niro's character yeah and then by robert de niro not laughing with him but at him really destroyed him as a person that was the tipping and point for him he, to have that one bad day what was the yeah, concept for him of the to movie? Have that one bad day, right? So, for us to all that build up because it really was a very, very slow burning move, very slow burning until we got to that point, and it was, it was on the point of being a flat line with me where I was about to cut it off anyway until we got to that point. Um, I'm having a hard time understanding why people like it, but people like what they like, so. Yeah. I mean, um, it's it's I, different. I, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, look, I ain't gonna judge your taste in movies. It, the Joker is your thing. I mean, that's cool. But I, I grew up with the real Joker. Only two people who ever lived to be the greatest Joker of all time. And I don't give a damn what nobody say, bro. First of all, you got our boy. And you know who I'm talking about. Keith? Keith Ledger is one of the greatest Jokers, live live action Jokers of all time. Hands down. Greatest Joker of all time, though, period. Animation. Hamill. Mark, Mark Hamill. Hamill. Get that shit straight. Get that shit straight. He is the embodiment of the Joker. He is the shit. There is no other Joker like Mark Hamill. Greatest line, like, like one of the greatest things that was funny but sick at the same time. There were two, there were two, <laughs> there were two inmates. They plan an escape. They actually escape the prison the prison cell. They are on the top of a uh the rooftop, pitch mm -hmm. black. Across the balcony was was freedom, but they had the uh what's it called? They had to climb that they climbed the uh the plank. This first inmate says, "Come on, man, we're almost there. We just gotta we just gotta climb to the other side." And the second was like, nah, man, you're crazy. He was like, I'm not doing that. He was like, what's wrong? He's like, I can't see the other side. So the first inmate tells the second one, well, I'll hold the, I'll hold the light for you so you cross to the other side. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> the first inmate killed the second inmate because <laughs> he turned the light off as soon as he crossed to the other side that in that scene in that scene batman actually laughed at the joker it was like holy shit that was funny at first i ain't gonna hold you when i watched that <laughs> i wasn't laughing and i was like that wasn't funny but then you actually get the humor and it. it was like it wasn't supposed to be funny it was supposed to be dark hence why the joker and batman are fucking crazy two sides of the same coin they both need each other they're both twisted in their own in their own demented ways. The Killing Joke, one of the one of the greatest comic books ever out made out there for the Batman. What, where was that scene from? The The Killing Joke. You don't remember? It was. It was I never seen The Killing Joke. You never have? Yo, Mark Hamill no. and, and uh and uh what's his name um Kevin Conroy, they replaced. That was one of the last films they did. Oh, they were in the they were voice acted those movies. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's the one where the I, Joker. Like my 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 movies have been limited without those two. Well, obviously Kevin Conroy ain't there no more. But I don't, I'm not really a fan of the new guy. But it, he's growing on me. But I just feel like the last couple of DC movies that they've been making kind of been kind of iffy. I think ever since Injustice, I had so such high expectations for Injustice, and it was a big letdown. And then after that, it's just been duds. Yeah, it's been letdowns. I mean, their animation movies are better than the live action, but 
to go back to that the killing joke that was one of the last movies they ever did and to be honest they said mark hamill at this point was already done because he done he did the uh the arkham games and he was done and the only mm-hmm. reason he did the arkham games because because kevin came back because mark hamill's made statements like look they keep bringing me back as Joker. I'm like, I'm done. I'm retired. I'm not doing that character. I already did everything I could do with that loot, with that character. There's nothing I could progress further with this character. And it's, and then they go and say, Kevin's reprise. This Kevin's playing Batman. And he's like, that's my man's. Say less. Just tell me, tell me the script and tell me what time to be there and I'll be there. And those two had the chemistry, bro. The chemistry was amazing in that movie. Like Heath and, and um and what's his name um oh oh man uh oh my god why did I forget his name his name just went over my head uh Heath Ledger and um Christian Bale Christian Bale there we go we're phenomenal together I felt like they had that chemistry together that whole scene in the interrogation in the interrogation room tell me where are they my man, <laughs> my man says. He was like, don't act like them because you know you're not like them. When they don't need you, they toss you aside. He said, you and me are the same. He said, you're a freak. He said, <laughs> he said what are you going to threaten me with? You got nothing to threaten me with, man. He was like, you and me were destined to do this forever, Batman. He said, you, you complete me. No, that scene was tough, bro. Because even, even me looking at Batman, bro, Batman looked like he was mind fucked in his head. Like his eyes were rolling in the back of his head. Like, yo, bro, like, you're fucking nuts. <laughs> mm. So, uh, again, well, uh, yeah, that, 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 for, for us to end off the Heath Ledger movie like that, that's the last appearance that we probably saw of the Joker in live action. Yeah, that was the last yeah. appearance of seeing the Joker in live action. And then I see this Joaquin Phoenix version of it. It's just like very, very underwhelming for me. So, Facts. Again, we're gonna we're gonna we're, I, I will I will I will drink two Celsiuses just to make it through this movie. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a chance. Uh, but going back to like you said, business purposes uh business purposes only. <laughs> I'm kinda looking I'm kinda giving a chance for Lady Gaga to do what she's gonna do and show us what she can do as Harley Quinn. But overall not a big fan. 